Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee on Veterans Day Saturday. Things are looking pretty good across the Mid-South without too much of any problems out there for right now. Likewise, for any of the prayer services, vigils, parades, anything else happening for Mid-South veterans in their honor today, does not look like you're going to need the umbrella or anything else of that nature. So definitely good news where that is concerned. But it is going to be, again, a little bit on the chilly side, especially for early this morning. So if you have any plans for outdoors, that could be something that you want to be paying attention to. The potential for more chances for showers and thunderstorms will exist in our forecast as we get into the course of the rest of the next couple of days. We'll talk more about that on the 7 to 10 day forecast coming up here in just a little bit. In the meantime, we've got again some pretty quiet conditions for right now, but again, could be again a little bit on the problematic side as we head into later on this week with more chances of rainfall coming our way into the near future. We'll talk about that again coming up here in just a little bit. Currently in the Mid-South area, again, we've got, whoops, sorry about that. Let me make certain that all the cameras are working here for this morning and taking a look right now at the area out and to around close to Rocky Mountain National Park into Colorado. Temperatures very cold out there, decently enough for snowfall in the Mid-South area for this morning, or for areas out west of the Mid-South for this morning. Welcoming all of our viewers on Instagram and also on Facebook for this morning. Thanks for joining us for the current conditions out across the Mid-South. We'll get to the forecast in just a little bit on News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. The view you're looking at right now, again from Colorado, Colorado, Rocky Mountain National Park out into and around portions of Colorado for this morning and things again decently quiet for the time being but maybe some more storms coming our way into the near future possibly as we go toward about Thanksgiving. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. A little closer to home view from the Baptist DeSoto camera looking into and around the area of South Haven. You're looking at the intersection of Goodman Road and I-55 into and around uh, portions of the area of South Haven looking off toward Horn Lake out there in the distance. Some clouds out there, not enough to block out all the sunshine, so a fairly decent morning starting off in the Mid-South. The Grove at Ole Miss is looking a little bit active this morning. Lots of tents and pavilions set up, ready to go for a little bit more activity going on down there, but likewise it is fairly chilly in Oxford for this morning with temperatures back in the 30s but fortunately not much of a breeze to worry about into the area there. Into around Windy Country Club, southeast Memphis. Again, all around the area, a little bit of cloud cover going on and some golfers out and about for this morning getting some links of golf in or at the driving range. Quiet and dry at this location. Live cam from Hilton East Memphis, I-240 in Poplar. Again, no traffic reports to give you any problems out across the area for right now. Rick and Angie Massengill, welcome to the show and good morning on Facebook. Temperatures, again, not enough for frost in the downtown area. Tower cam over downtown Memphis overlooking the area close to around the Mississippi River and also seeing, again, some of those clouds out there. I-55 traffic down here right across the bridge looking good at this point in time, so no backups or problems to report here. Have to, again, remind you, uh, if you have never tuned in here before, definitely want to keep an eye on what's going on with the forecast, and you can do so by doing so right here in this blue bar. If you've never tuned in here before, we try to take a look at webcams, the forecast in general, and more of what's going on here in the Mid-South, but we try to throw in as much as we can as well uh, for interesting purposes across the area. And if there's something you'd like to see on here, give me a shout, austin.onic at wreg. Com. Would love to hear from you. Uh, Deborah Jane, Jane Williams Spiegel, welcome to the show for this morning. More of your pictures out there as well. We'll show you more about that coming up here uh, in just a little bit. Some great pictures across the Mid South, but this is your forecast in a nutshell for right now for this morning. Mid to upper 50s by lunchtime. Looking at temperatures mainly going back into the lower 60s as we head into very early this afternoon. Dry, mostly sunny if you don't count some of those thicker clouds that drift on through, but mostly sunny, partly cloudy out across much of the area. And looking again at numbers pretty quiet for right now for this time of the year. Looking very good for Veterans Day, so any outdoor parades going on to honor them doesn't look too bad out there for now. Storm Tracker 3S radar, we've ramped up the sensitivity so you can see a little bit more about what's going on. The area that you see in and around portions of the Mid-South Central area, that green area around the radar sites, that right there is just, again, the ramped up sensitivity detecting dust, moisture, birds, airplanes, whatever else it can pick up at this time. 
it's normal for this time of the morning. It's not a malfunction. It's not a government conspiracy or anything else like that. It's just rain, the free dust, and other stuff being seen around the Mid-South area on Storm Tracker 3S. So as of right now, no need for the umbrella this morning, and it looks like throughout the course of the rest of the day today. So good news on that. Bozo Wolfolk, welcome from Senatobia this morning. Thanks for tuning in. Julia Cavallo, welcome to the show. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you very much on that as well. And thanks to everybody for tuning in on Periscope and Twitter so far this morning. Let me take a look and see if I can get this zoomed out a little bit farther here. Weatherbug stations from our Sites around the Mid-South, lower to mid-30s. Coolest temperature we could find on here for this morning, 31 degrees so far, just past 8 o'clock at Blytheville at the airport. Let's go ahead and run the numbers for you and show you what we've got going on. Again, through about lunchtime today, we'll be looking at numbers back in the mid to upper 50s, close to 60 degrees, and those moving lines on screen showing the winds coming up out of the southeast and moving their way back toward the northwest. And those will continue throughout the day today, so maximum temperatures expected back in the mid to upper 50s to around about the lower 60s or so and then getting into again later on tonight temperatures fall off now notice right back up here we get a little bit more in the way of cloud cover that gray color that you see there that's the computer interpreting more clouds making their way into the mid-south and developing toward about news channel 3 at 10 as well temperatures after sunset will dip into the upper 40s to lower 50s so heading out on the town tonight jacket will be a very good idea because by news channel 3 at 10 and just afterwards we'll be looking at numbers back in the mid to upper 50s to lower 60s. But as we go into tomorrow morning, what we have in the way of rainfall, drizzle, mainly light showers out there, that's going to be about it for right now. That's going to be about the main thing that we see. It's going to be way too warm across the Mid-South for anything involving frozen precipitation. Several thousand feet up, yeah, that could be frozen, but as it goes down toward the ground, it melts, and then we see temperatures again continue with that as just plain rainfall, and that's going to be about all. Julia Cavallo, 44 degrees from Walls, Mississippi. Thank you very much out there. Jennifer Pruitt, welcome from Brownsville, Tennessee. Thank you very much. Uh, Stacy Dale, welcome to the show and thanks for joining us so far this morning. Let's go ahead and get into the seven day forecast looking at the Veterans Day holiday. For today, temperatures will be back into the lower 60s, just a bit below normal for this time of the year and mainly mostly sunny skies. Yes, you can argue it's partly cloudy, partly sunny, but mainly mostly sunny if it allows lots of sun through and some decent amounts of blue skies. That's my story. I'm sticking to it, and that's what I'm saying for right now. More clouds possible tomorrow and more showers as well across the entire day. The potential for anything involving rainfall will be with us from sunup to sundown, but as you can see at this point in time, we're just not looking at all that much in the way of rainfall across much of the area. Continuing to see again the possibility, sorry about the zoom in, zoom out right there, but I've got to reset the camera so it doesn't uh, turn off automatically. It's not doing what I want it to do for right now. Mostly sunny by Monday and temperatures again right about normal, almost spot on normal by Monday. Chances of rainfall that we did have them in for around the area on Tuesday. We've taken them out of the forecast for right now. As we get into the rest of the forecast, more chances for showers on Wednesday. Thunderstorms possible by Thursday and then by Friday we see that potential of thunderstorms sticking around the area for the possibility of problems toward Friday night football. A little bit on the iffy side for right now but as the season is winding down a lot less football games going on out there as we approach the playoffs. Rest of the forecast as we go into around next weekend drying out for just a little bit and temperatures remaining pretty mild for this time of the year back into the lower 60s out across the mid-south. So again relatively comfortable not an arctic blast not as warm as it was last week with temperatures pushing 80 degrees by Sunday last. This is a much nicer area of temperatures for us to be in and looking pretty good. Now, past this, as we go way past this, as we head into the forecast going close to the Thanksgiving holiday, there are signs not guarantees, so for those of you who are trying to put those words in my mouth, stop it right now. There are signs that we are looking at the potential of a new storm system making its way across the northern sections of the country. Now that could begin to give, first of all, some colder air to around the upper plain states right off of Canada. Secondly, there are some hints that we could see some moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico as well as cold air coming down from the north. Mixing that together, there are possibilities, not guarantees again, of maybe some frozen precipitation as we get into and around the area of right before Thanksgiving, as in close to travel holiday, close to Tuesday and Wednesday, somewhere in there, right before Thanksgiving. 
it doesn't look like much, but again, there are signs of it, and I would be remiss if I did not show or give you an idea a little bit more as to what's going on. So that's what we're looking for. That's the potential anyway, but right now we're just not seeing too much of anything as a guarantee for that at this point, so definitely good news on that. All right, here's some of the great news for this morning. Ask for pictures, and boy, you responded, and great ones out there as well. Uh, got about several new ones out across the Mid-South. Deborah J54 from around Humboldt. Beautiful pre-sunrise sky. If you'd like to see some of the pictures we took with the Weatherbug cameras, all you have to do is go to our social media pages and you can find out more about what those look like this morning and awesome shots with some amazing colors out there this morning. Oblina 3 from Hernando. Beautiful view of some silhouetted trees in the foreground and a beautiful sunrise mixed in with some blue skies in the background for this morning. So a beautiful view there. And also looking at a nice view of sunrise from Sardis Lake, Maria underscore Wyndham. Thank you very much for catching that picture out there. If you'd like to see your pictures on this display on air or online, we'd love to see them. But here's the problem. We can't show them if you don't send them. Where do you send them to? I'm glad you asked. Here's what you do. Go to these particular sites out there. Facebook, you're already there if you're watching on Facebook right now. Twitter, Aonic underscore WREG3. No underscore necessary, Aonic WREG3 on Instagram. Also, again, on Google+, WordPress, YouTube, Tumblr, uh, Instagram, and also on Periscope and SoundCloud. i got to update those icons uh, to keep you updated on what's going on. But if you have pictures weather-related across the Mid-South or beyond. Let us see them, and we'll be glad to feature them, but we can't show them unless you send them, so please uh, send them along to us. We'd love to be able to see a little bit more about what you're seeing out there so we can pass them along to everybody else. Plus, it gets boring here with weather on the weekend when it's that calm, so I need something to do, so you can help me out by doing stuff like that. Uh, D. Leach, 30 and sunny in Old Bridge, New Jersey. Welcome to the show from New Jersey this morning. Say hello to uh, New Brunswick. My son, Tristan, may be going to a seminar at Rutgers coming up here toward the early part of next year. So hope everything is well in and around Old Bridge, New Jersey for this morning. We'll have another update of your forecast again coming up later on tonight. If you can't catch the forecast online because you're out of range in the Mid-South or you can't watch on TV because you're out and about doing stuff, dial us up on the radio, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. Be glad to have you along for the ride. So dial us up and listen and in throughout the rest of the weekend for my forecast from the News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center. Again, if you have any questions, concerns, ideas, please let me know. Austin.onic at WRAG.com, available up there at the top portion of your screen. So it'll give you an idea to be able to see a little bit more about what goes on around here. We try to answer any questions we can. If we don't have the answer to them, we'll forward you along to someone who does know the answer. We don't make stuff up here. We'd let you know a little bit more about what's going on out there with no problem whatsoever. If you have any questions about the forecast, We'll be on throughout the rest of the weekend. We'll be on a little late this afternoon. Doubleheader with NCAA football may put us a little bit late into later on tonight. So stay tuned for more with News Channel 3. We'll be on live at 10, but we'll be on the Anytime channel. And that's also available on our website at WREG.com. That'll be later on tonight at about 6 o'clock in the evening if you'd like to catch up with more information there. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks to everybody for joining us on my Facebook page, Instagram, also on Periscope and Twitter. Thanks a lot to everybody for stopping on by. More throughout the rest of the weekend, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online.